Now, just a little bit, uh, not too far away from what's going on in Ukraine, the Independent Petroleum Marketers Association of Nigeria and the Nigeria Union of Petroleum and Natural Gas Workers are loggerheads over the pump price of petrol as fuel scarcity worsened in many parts of Nigeria in the last fortnight. Many fuel stations increased the pump price of petrol higher than the official 165 per litre. In Bielsa, for instance, the price of litre has gone as high as 300 naira. And this has, in one way or the other, been connected to the uh, ongoing in Ukraine. Uh, uh, so many have uh, connected this as the activities going on at the Black Sea and transportation of uh, petrol into Nigeria. Well, we have the former president of Petroleum and Natural Gas uh, Staff Association, Mr. Peter Esele, now, who may have some insight on this to uh, help us paint the picture better on what may be going on as we see a persisting scarcity of petrol in major cities in Nigeria. Good to see you, Mr. Esele. Good afternoon. So um, is it possible, or help us to connect this to what's going on in Russia, we, we're hearing from some quarters that this is apparently connected to what's going on in uh, Ukraine, Russia's invasion to Ukraine? I, I think I would rather look at it as a, maybe, an indirect, maybe an indirect process about what is happening in Ukraine. But one thing we also need to look at is this scarcity was looking, was looking at something that was being under control a couple of days ago, I think over the weekend, they suddenly now there's huge traffic in Lagos. And also the traffic I came in from Benin yesterday and they also started building in Benin. So one of the challenges I think NMPC is facing now, it has to do with logistics of moving the product. And the other aspect is racketeering. Black market is really thriving. Black market is thriving in Abuja, is thriving in Lagos, and also thriving is on part of Benin. So what you have is once you have a little bit of scarcity and the product you have a shortfall of product of about 20 to 30 percent. You have scarcity that we have at the moment. And my advice is LNPC just come out clean and let Nigerians know where they are and what is really happening. And, and on the other aspect, you also have to look at we are not maximizing the benefit of having $100 per crew over what is happening in Ukraine right now because we cannot even meet our OPEC quota, daily OPEC needs. And you also have the subsidy outflow. Subsidy outflow in the sense that the government tells you. Uh, instead of making so much money from it, the money also go into paying subsidy. So whether the product, whether you have $100 per barrel, whatever we have is that we are in a cash 22 position. That is where we are at the moment. Yeah, I wonder which way forward now. Where do you see us going forward? I, I, I think our way forward, will, first of all, we have to stabilize domest domestic energy consumption. Unfortunately, NMPC needs to get in as, many, as much uh, product into the, into the economy as it can. And then in the medium term to long term is that we also need to meet our local energy needs because we are importing everything. So just imagine that it becomes difficult for you to have any, any, any shipment coming in from Brussels with Brussels with okay. product, then we are stuck. We're in trouble here. All right, uh, Mr. Sele, we really have to stop it there. Uh, it's an ongoing conversation. We'll certainly uh, get more perspective on this. Thank you so much, Mr. Peter Sele, for joining us uh, for that conversation. Thank you for having me.